Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you from Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. Today I'm doing a reading for Sagittarius, and this is from February 1st to the 15th, 2020. I will say, please don't live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Somebody out there might enjoy them. To my subscribers, welcome back, and to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. I would also like to relay a message from Spirit, and that message is to release control issues. This could be controlling people in your life. You can be a controlling person, or you could be controlled by some sort of toxic habit. <clears throat> With that being said, I'd like to get started and tell you that we have three stones here. And I'd like you to think of a question that you want answered. At the end of the reading, I will answer the questions through these stones. So you have the whole entire reading to decide on which stone is basically calling out to you. So as you're watching the reading, possibly you keep targeted on a specific stone. That most likely would be your answer. So let's go ahead and get started for Sagittarius, February 1st to the 15th, 2020. I have pre-shuffled the cards, but I'm just going to go ahead and do another quick little shuffle here so we can find out the general energy for Sagittarius from February 1st to the 15th, 2020. <clears throat> general energy of the reading for Sagittarius for February 1st to the 15th, 2020 is the Hierophant. It seems, Sagittarius, that you have marriage on your mind. Or somebody is thinking about marrying you. You could be getting involved in some sort of uh, institution, maybe going back to school. Maybe you have come up on some spiritual wisdom. Let's go ahead and find out what's going on here for Sagittarius from February 1st to the 15th, 2020. Sagittarius from the 1st to the 15th, 2020. Sagittarius from the 1st to the 15th, 2020. The first cards we have out are the Knight of Swords. So you could be receiving some information coming in, some swift, quick communication. It could be good. It could be bad. There could be some truth uh, to some situation. We also have the Fool card. This information will lead you to want to take a fool's journey, a new journey in a different direction, possibly taking that leap of faith. I do have the Two of Pentacles. There could have been some juggling in the past, or there could be some juggling going on, and you are wanting a change. You do not want to deal with this juggling any longer. <clears throat> what else do we have for Sagittarius from the 1st to the 15th, 2020? What else do we have for Sagittarius from the 1st to the 15th, 2020? The next cards we have out are the Knight of Discs. So the information coming into you could be in regards to finances, okay? You could be receiving information having to do with finances. But presently, you are in the hermit mode, trying to think about how you are going to have this new beginning, how you're going to take this leap of faith. Perhaps uh, there is another message coming in in regards to truth. It could be premature, okay? But it is truth nonetheless. Perhaps you are going to be defending yourself here. Or somebody's going to be defending themselves. What do we have next for Sagittarius? For February 1st to the 15th, 2020. February 1st to the 15th, 2020. February 1st. To the 15th, 2020. The next cards we have out are the lovers. So it seems that you are working on, or you are going to be receiving a message of finances, okay? You're also going to be receiving a message of truth, okay? Some sort of communication. This could be in regards to a lover. <clears throat> It seems that in this situation, uh, you will be giving to two, but you will have success in this situation. 
there will be some sort of success here, okay? Maybe you will get into a situation that involves equal give and take. Maybe you did not have that before, and this is why you are going to have success. And that success will definitely bring you to this Ten of Cups energy, a more happier life because you've made a change in your life because of some information that has come in, some truth. This could be also something that you are fighting for. So, what do we have next for Sagittarius for February 1st to the 15th, 2020? Sagittarius, Sagittarius from February 1st to the 15th, 2020. You could also be dealing with a Taurus. I just want to add that in there. Okay. And you could also be dealing with an air sign with that fool card there or a Gemini. Or you can have all of these signs in your chart, okay? So the first, so the next three cards we have out for Sagittarius are, we have the Four of Cups. So something, some message that's coming in is an offer to you, an offer of emotion. I do see taking a new fool's journey, you feel as if it's going to be a burden. So you're trying to make a decision on whether or not you see this situation in your, in your future. You've possibly been thinking about this, wondering how you're going to do this. Possibly you, this offer coming in is something that you're not, you're, you're actually considering. It might be a burden, but, and it might be different from your normal life, but that's what change is all about. The next three cards we have out are the Ten of Cups. So somebody is definitely going to bring in an offer of the Ten of Cups. Somebody who loves you. We also have the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. So maybe you're in a relationship right now that's too much of a burden. Okay? Wish fulfillment is not actually the Ten of Cups. It's the Nine. The Nine of Cups is, is almost there, but not quite. The Nine of Cups could indicate some sort of addictions, you know? Nine of Cups is like, yay, this is going to happen for us. Let's celebrate. But the celebration has to end sometime. It has to end at some time. Maybe that celebration just hasn't ended and you're getting tired. We do have the Knight of Cups. Looking to send a message possibly from somebody from the past or receiving it from somebody from the past. A message of love. What else do we have from for Sagittarius from February 1st to the 15th, 2020? Sagittarius, February 1st to the 15th, 2020. The next week cards we have out are... The Knight of Pentacles. More messages coming in, possibly from the past. Messages of financial security. But that's going to take a while coming in because we know how the Knight of Wands works. You could be um, dealing with the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, air sign. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. <clears throat> Next card out we have is the Queen of Wands. So you might have a choice between the two, or there could be somebody with both of these in their charts. As you see, the two queens are looking at each other. So possibly they don't like each other. Uh, you could be that Queen of Wands of Sagittarius looking at the Queen of Swords. This could be a same-sex relationship, or this could be a male 
in his feminine energy. Now I also see here there's an offer being made of love and that's going to come in from this Knight of Pentacles. I also see a burden going on now with wish fulfillment and it has to do with the Queen of Swords. You're trying to make a choice on whether to, to give your love where to give your love. Who you're going to send this love to. And it does seem like you want to send this love to a person of the past, but it's difficult. You do have marriage on your mind though. A new relationship, a new union possibly. A new start. What else do we have for Sagittarius from the 1st to the 15th, 2020 for Sagittarius? Sagittarius from the 1st to the 15th, 2020. Sagittarius from the 1st to the 15th, 2020. First three cards out we have are the Ten of Coins. So you could be financially stable at this present time. There's the King of Coins. You could be holding this energy or there is a King of Coins in your environment. Somebody who is a earth sign, right? Maybe there is somebody in control of this money in your life, okay? There could be somebody controlling your money or you could be holding this energy. I do see there is going to be an ending to a situation, to a cycle, completion. You've accomplished what you wanted to accomplish. Perhaps even you might want to do some traveling. So if you are in this Ten of Coins energy, you may be considering traveling. You might be consider, considering traveling towards this King of Coins. If you're not holding that energy, right? If you're not holding that energy and it's somebody else in your environment, you may feel like you want to travel towards that person. But I do see financial security here for you. What else do we have for uh, Sagittarius from the 1st to the 15th, 2020? Next three cards out we have are the Four of Coins. So you're definitely holding on to this or you're holding on to your finances, okay? Because money did come in and now you're trying to possibly hold on to that money. You might have hope in a situation and it could be in regards to an Aquarius, all right? We also have the King of Cups here. You could be somebody with that energy, that energy of emotion, or this could be another person in your environment. So you could be possibly holding on to your finances right now. You could be considered the actual king of pentacles and you're having hopes in a situation and you want to complete a cycle that's going on in your life because you have a lot of love in your heart and I think you have a lot of love for a particular person. That could be the Queen of Wands, or that could be you thinking about the King of Cups, excuse me. So the next three cards out we have are the Empress. So you could be involved with somebody or you could be thinking of somebody holding that energy. You could have had a child with them before or a family. Or this woman could have a child already. You have a lot of options and you're having a, a hopes and, you know, figuring out those options. You're trying to figure out which way to go. Because you have all these options, you have all these finances, and now you're trying to choose the right choice. Who is the right choice for you, Sagittarius? You're going to get a message coming in to you. A message of passion. So there could be somebody that you are really passionate about and they're going to come in with a message or you are going to give that message because we do see that this night is, is going out 
Oh, actually, it's coming in. So possibly somebody from the past, you're going to hear a message from somebody from the past bringing in messages of passion. Okay, that's what I see here. So you're financially stable, you're holding on to your finances, and you're thinking about somebody. You're thinking about the Empress. You could be the King of Pentacles at this time. Having hopes in a situation could involve an Aquarius, and you're trying to think of which option is the best option because you have more than one. You want to, or you're going through a completion of some sort of cycle here. And in this cycle, you have either to deal with the King of Cups or you are holding that energy. Nonetheless, you are receiving a message of passion from outside your circle or outside your environment. And this message could involve marriage or union or joining up with somebody to start something new. So, Sagittarius, hopefully you have chosen a good question for yourself. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the first stone to see what the answer to your question is. So if you chose this one, here is your answer. We do have the buffalo skull. And the buffalo skull represents reverence for life and sacredness. So you could have a new reverence for your life, especially since you've come into some kind of material wealth or financial wealth. So now you are thinking about things as being more sacred now, okay? Now that you have this wealth, you want to make the right choice. You don't want to be ripped off or burned in any type of way. I do see here we have the seven of coins. So you have a lot of options. You could be dealing with a Taurus. So your answer here is maybe, maybe. I think it's because you're, you need to make a choice. You haven't made that choice yet. So until you make that choice, your answer is maybe. Now, if you've chosen the second stone, we do have the frog. And the frog is emotional healing and cleansing. So you may be going through some emotional healing and possibly some cleansing. Right? Releasing people who are controlling, releasing your own control issues. Very good. The answer to your question, though, is no. And we do have the Three of Swords here. We also have Libra here. So your answer may be no, especially if you've held this Libra in a three-party situation. I do not think Libra will go for it because Libra is about balance, purpose. Okay, so if whatever your question was, your answer is no. If you've chosen this stone, we have the scorpion, defensiveness and self-protection. You may be a little defensive at this time and you may be trying to protect yourself. The answer to your question is maybe. And you could be also dealing with another Libra. There could be two Libras in your environment. And the answer to that question is maybe. And that is the justice card. This Libra wants justice. They want things to be balanced. They want the scales to be balanced. Right? The judgment card represents rebirth, inner calling, and absolution. So you must make a choice here in regards to um, the scorpion stone. So we don't have any straight yeses for you, Scorpio. Possibly because you have been involved in some situations, and now it's time for you to make a choice. The time has come to make choices, good choices. And with that message from Spirit releasing control issues, I think it's time to release these control issues and find out the truth for yourself. 
I have a feeling that since you are becoming into this uh, financial gain or material wealth, material uh, or uh, financial wealth, you're going to have to find your own answers this time because you will not find the answers outside you because people will be deceptive, especially if you have some financial uh, wealth. That's when all the people start coming out of the woodwork. Oh, I'm your best friend, Sagittarius. So it's time to make a choice. Okay? It's time to make a choice on which way you want to go. Because you're not going to find choices from others. Everybody's going to agree with you because you are financially stable now. So this reading was for Sagittarius from the 1st to the 15th, 2020. My name is Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And I'll speak to you next time. Thanks.